Oscar. Can you hear me, Oscar? Loud and clear, loud and clear. How are you today? Very good. I'm doing okay. Thank you. What about you? Well, I'm, I'm currently on my working place. Okay. And I I came to an isolated isolated area. area. Uh huh. Uh huh. To, to, okay. Is that part of, the class. Okay. Is that part of the tower? No, this is the public area for oh. departures. Oh, okay. Good, good. It's, it's the food court, actually, where, where, in where is the Pollo Campero and, and okay. Burger King. Oh. But, but, but everything is closed. Right, right. Closed. What, what time are they closing the airport? Um, the airport has 24 hours. Uh, okay, like, like that service. area, the area where you are, what time do they close? No. 8 p.m.? Usually, usu usually 8 p.m. on normal times, but uh, this area is closed since, since, since March, since the, oh, okay. since the, okay. since okay. the pandemic times be began. Okay. Since the pandemic began, the pandemic began. Yes. Uh, this food court was closed and it's still, it's still closed because it's for the departures. Uh, this is the departures public area. Okay. All right. So, so it's not, it's not uh, clear yet to, to have okay. people. Okay. I was in that area uh -huh. like, like one year ago, I think. Uh, okay. I, I went to Nicaragua. And uh, I remember that space where they had Pollo Campero and all the uh, the uh -huh. restaurants there. Yeah, yeah, the Burger King and right, the, the, right. Uh -huh. Okay, good, good. So when when are they supposed to open the restaurants back that area? Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe in December. Okay. But I don't know. It, it depends on the on the on the opening phases because right. right now because right now you are the living you when you only one person how to say when when someone is departing from el salvador uh -huh. uh, you these people is drop uh, is drop it up at the parking lot exactly so and they and then the if you come to carry to carry your your relative who is who is traveling abroad, mm -hmm. uh, you are not allowed to. Exactly. More, you're not allowed. Uh, you are only allowed to the parking lot. Exactly. So the, exactly. The parking lot has enough enough space and and and, and how to say respiration enough is the clear Breathe. air. Breathe. Uh, clear air. <laughs> Breathe. Oh. So so. I don't know. Maybe December. It depends on the on the pandemic. Right. Yeah. There are many restrictions right now. Uh, for for the for the I mean the the, the prevention of uh, the local. pandemic. Ah, but las personas que acompañan people who is uh, who accompany the, who accompany. The, People who accompany the, the right. travelers exactly are exactly. not allowed. Uh, yet. Exactly, are not allowed. Yes. Yet. They are just allowed to the parking lot. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, Mario. Hi. How are you? Good evening. Good. It's good to see you again. Yeah, me too. Nice All to right. Nice. How was your day, Mario? Uh, very tough, like the like always. Uh, for me, it's the same this this day and the last week we, because. We're still working right now, and actually, my boss was chatting me on Skype right now. So, <laughs> for me, it was a very tough day. And okay, are you in your house right now, or are you in yes. the office? No, in my house. Yeah. Okay. I, I work from home. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. Hello, Wendy. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you, Wendy? I'm fine, I think. <laughs> Did you have a good day? Not much. Not much. <laughs> I'm still in my work. <laughs> You're still yeah. in your work. Yes. Okay. And what time do you finish? 
I don't have time. <laughs> oh my goodness. That sounds very familiar, you know, like you have a, <laughs> you have a time to start, but you don't have a time to finish. Yes, exactly. Okay. Hello, Diana, Gabriela. Hello to everyone. Hello, how was your day? It was a really good day. Thank you for asking. Nice, nice. Okay, so welcome back. What's today's date? October 14th. October 14th. October is leaving too. October is leaving too. Remember the conversation we had about Children's Day? That was two weeks ago. Imagine it's going really fast. Okay, so do you remember the topics we covered uh, yesterday? Who remembers the topics? Everybody was here except Oscar. Oscar was wow. on vacation. <laughs> Me neither, okay. teacher. You, you were absent, uh, Gabriela? <laughs> yes, I was. Really? I'm sorry. I had the sensation yes. that Wendy, Mario, and Diana were present. Okay. <laughs> Mario, do you remember the activities we covered yesterday? Um, uh, but at the final, uh, the, the last activity from the, the, from the day yesterday, right? Uh, yeah, the last activity uh, that we had, activity, or, or uh, any activity. We're talking about the home and what's different from home and house. Okay. Um, and we are talking about, uh, I only remember that uh, we are talking about home and house. Okay. So what did we say? What are the differences between a home and a house? What are the differences? I remember that I said that the difference is in home is is actually where do you where do you live and house is in general like if you you say about a lot of houses or I don't know the the the, the general name of the structure. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you can say, oh, Colón Escalón has some beautiful houses. Yes, it's, it's general, right? Yes. And uh, but if you're talking about the house with the people, then it's a home. Say, hey, Mario, you have a beautiful home here. Yes. Yeah, correct. All right. Jose Ramos, how are you? Doing pretty good. Nice. How are you? I'm doing okay. You have some professional headsets with you. I uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is the sound good, I imagine? Yeah, it's kinda good. Okay. Yeah. You make a party there? <laughs> no, that's... Uh, Just for, for work and classes. Class. Yes. All right, good. Okay, so let's begin. Um, let me ask you, before I give you the topic, uh, what is the reason why you are working with your English? Why are you improving your English? <sighs> for me, for have a... Uh, an opportunity to to have a job in Canada, maybe the okay uh, the the next year. I don't know. No, the next year, no. Maybe in five years. <laughs> okay. But Good. I have that dream that I need to Good. to pursue that. Yeah. Yeah, and Canada is one of the best places in the world. So good, yes. you have a good vision. Okay, someone else, why are you improving your English? So Mario says work, what about the others? Oscar? Well, in my case, in my case, I learned English uh, 25 years ago. Okay. Um, in my workplace, we are evaluated. And every, in my case, every five years, so I had to keep a, a, a you minimum, have to be active. Aha, uh -huh, a minimum level of, of English. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, I have to take a test and 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 demonstrate that I I could I have a clearance. Okay. Uh -huh, that I that I but I have a um 
how to say that it's a yeah the clearance on my license on my license okay it's an english level so i i had to keep it in order to work good good what about you wendy why are you improving your english well in my case it's very common that we had a lot of we have a lot of communication with other countries and um, for example the, this year we had a conversation with people from Switzerland I, I yeah uh-huh yes Sweden, I don't I don't remember in Chicago United States okay uh, in my case I had a lot of difficult for communicate with 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 them and I try to improve my English on listening and in on conversation. Very good. Excellent. What about you, Gabriela? Okay, I, in my case I have two reasons because of my personal development, because I would like to, to read in, in books in English and uh, more fluently. And in my job maybe someday it would Help me. Okay, good. And last but not least, Jose. Well, in my case, uh, I want to get a promotion in my job or just to find another opportunity to grow in my life. All right, good. So, you know, like people work for, uh, they want to improve the language for different reasons, work, uh, something personal, because you use it right now in your work. So when you go to a job interview and you're applying for an English position, the interview is going to be in English, right? Yes. Now, what are the questions they usually ask you? What is a typical question in a job interview? Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, good. What else? The first part is always about uh, the personal things, the family, as, uh, subjects where where do where do we live and who we do we who we live with exactly and stuff like that okay o other questions that people might ask you in a job interview uh, the aspirations or how did you see how do you see at five years since since now okay. uh, uh huh and they ask you they ask you about uh knowledge if you do you know something about the the job positions exactly um exactly so if you're applying for um electrical engineer they will ask you questions related to that particular field if i apply for a position they will ask me things related with teaching and so on so yeah Okay, so um, the topic that I have for today is um, it's about job interviews in English. So add a room, let me see, share, give me a second, uh -huh. right here. Hold on. Okay, can you see the questions? Can you? Yes, yes, I can see. All yes, right, you. let me see from 8 to 9 p.m. Where is this group? Right here. Okay, so if you want to take a screenshot right now, go ahead and do it. Or if you prefer the questions in the chat, I'm sending them to you right now. So, break our rooms. Here we go. Try to speak faster than usual, faster than usual, faster than usual.
your level of English. Yes, I agree with you. And in other aspects uh, of your life too. Oh yeah, well, your in situations. Mm -hmm. And you, Wendy? Yes. Mm, I think the same. Uh, for me, it's so difficult to, to assist to an interview, but I think it's, it's helpful for uh, for the, I don't know, the, the human resources, <laughs> because uh, they can, they can know about you, about your knowledge, your experience, your, your abilities. Yes, I agree with you, but I think in my personal case, I love job interviews. I think that it's, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of enjoyed them. I don't know why, because it's kind of a, a challenge for me. And if I really want the, the, the job position, it's kind of a challenge. I, I research uh, about the company, about the people who is going to interview me. And, and I, I am thinking about my clothes and I'm, I'm, about my my answers to the questions and I really enjoyed the process <laughs> and, okay. and now in my in my actual job position I'm going to interview other people uh, so that's nice <laughs> I'm going okay. to enjoy it <laughs> okay the second I only one. try two mm -hmm. two times <laughs> I'm sorry no I say that I only tried two times oh to get an interview, uh, a job interview. Yes, uh, for me, it was a terrible experience. A, a, a job interview <laughs> in English? Um, One in English, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, even even when you, um, what, whatever reason they may have, so they don't call you because they already mm -hmm. have the people, whatever, you get the experience of Mm -hmm. getting the job interview in English. So it's a plus. Mm -hmm. So that's good. That's good, yeah. Uh, I, really, I feel uncomfortable. My first uh, job interview was um, I wanted to, I was looking for a job in the peace course, the US peace course in El Salvador. So I, I failed in, 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 in few things. Actually, I used to have a better level of, of English, mm -hmm. but, but uh, uh, the job was kind of a field job and I couldn't, I couldn't convince the interviewer was a, a, a lady. I couldn't convince her that I that I wanted that job because the the lady was telling me that you have to volunteer a lot. And I was in my mind, in my mind, I was thinking, okay, I'm looking for a job, not for, a, <laughs> for volunteering. Uh -huh. It's not community yeah. service. Uh huh. So I was scared. I was. Come on, the Yeah, Good. Uh, for example, in my job, I had tried many times in order to get a promotion, but in one time I, I reached the position. Well, well, in two times I reached the position that I was applying for, but another, I just for me, uh, I the the people uh, didn't call me, but. As we were saying that if you di didn't got the, the position, you got the, the experience for another one, mm -hmm. you will be have the 
you could be doing better than the do do before. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Yes. And you, Wendy? Well, I, as I said, uh, my experience was terrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know how I got my jobs, but I think uh, this experience helped me to to prepare me for uh, other 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 interviews in the future, uh, maybe in this year or next year, because I want to to move to other jobs, and maybe I I try to to take this experience for for the other for the other interview. Exactly, and remember the because sometimes the person gets nervous while in the interview and we say things or we do things we're not supposed to do or say, but just like you're saying, you know, that experience, you put it into practice in your next uh, interview so you don't do it again. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's, that's part of the idea. Like is it the, uh, it's like the standards, it's like international standards for the public accounting. So for me, mm -hmm. I need to, to practice that. And okay. if, if I have a, like a presentation to, to do, uh, sometimes I prepare like a, a, a presentation, little presentation. Mm -hmm. And I try to speak with, with a friend, with my family, like uh, they ask me or they try to ask me, but uh, I try to, Mm -hmm. to, to answer uh, well to, or ah uh, yeah, to, yeah to al answer. always prepare for the for the interview like the interview. if you are in your school and you have to have a a, a prepare a prepare a presentation and you feel very nervous if you have a presentation with all the people so for me it's the um, same so i try to to practice with with a friend with my family for for the interview but it's like you. Uh, my last interview was in uh -huh. 2018, uh, two years ago. I remember, and I feel very embarrassed because I, I, I don't know. It was it was an awful interview. I feel very uh -huh. nervous, and and it's the same. I yeah. It, it was a it was a a job position for a promote a promote position, uh -huh. but I lost that promotion. So. I feel very bad for that. Okay, but, that in the past. That in the yes, past. That in, is the past. in the past. Okay, in my case, I focus uh, myself on the on the job position that I'm the job vacancy that I'm looking for. So, for example, if I have an interview and I know that that I have applied for a for a job position, uh, I try to investigate mm -hmm. and study everything related to that job uh, position and the, the skills and the profile. So I try to, 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 to study. Uh -huh. yeah, and, good idea. and if I don't have the, I don't feel the gaps, at least justify why I'm looking for that job and, and why I'm, I'm going to be good on that. Okay, good. But, uh -huh. Walter, welcome back. Long time no Sorry. see you, Walter. You're in mute. Okay, I, I didn't have the screen. Okay, Walter. <laughs> so, can, can you hear me, let's, Walter? Let's... Hello. Hello. Good How are you? Hi, good, good, good to see you. <laughs> yeah, good to see you too. <laughs> All right. Are, are you are you doing the work? Uh, the work in the platform, Walter. Yes, I work in the platform. I get, uh, I got ninety-seven percent. So, so you finished the platform already? Mm, uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, some, You're missing some, a little bit. A little bit, yes. Okay, Norma, how are well, you? I, I, I'm no. going to try to complete everything. Good, good. That's the idea. Remember that everybody needs to have. Uh, at least 80% of all the work in the platform so you guys can be promoted for the next class. So you need yes. to you need to have 80% of, of the work. 
Yes. I got it. Hello, Norma. How are you? Hi, thank you. All right, good. Okay, so let me visit the other room and um, I will make, let me see this here. Yeah, I will make um, a new room. Okay, room three. Move to room three. And let's see, three, three, two. All right. All right, so keep talking. Okay. Season of the year are really tight for us. <laughs> yes. And, and you, you live in Santa Ana? No, I live in, in Lourdes, Colón. Ah, okay. Because today was a bad day for the Chachua Park. Oh, it yeah. Lost city. Yes, I was listening to that. Uh, I imagine the traffic, it could be terrible for that yeah. son. Mm -hmm. And what uh, question uh, you you complete with the before uh, group? Uh, I, we were in the numbers. Um, all of acknowledgement that I that I then uh, try to to get all of all of the things according to the positions I'm going to apply. So in, in order to practice also with another person or myself uh, speaking and answering answering myself or in speaking in front of of the of the on, on a screen I, I don't know <laughs> so or in making some audios and listen listen to myself and how 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 I uh, tell the the things. So whatever, um, many things we need to to prepare, prepare and and also uh, try to to get um, uh, the better um, the better um, presentation, the pre the better um, uh, how to say. Dress well. Uh, you want to dress well. Uh -huh. To uh -huh. to oh, to see the best. The the clothes do you are you are wearing. Uh, your face. Many mm. many things. Uh huh. We have okay. to. Okay. Wow. Where do you so, work, Walter? Um, <clears throat> I work in. Uh, um, in a factory uh, in Soyapango City. Okay. I work in a apparel industry. Okay. All right. I work. I working right now as an engineer department. Good. And and how many so years have you been that in that company? Five years. Five years. Yes. And and I and I had another work, uh, maybe for for years before, and mm -hmm. in another company, and then and then in that company, and I I moved to to this company that I am working right now. So in this company, the uh, the easy that to get that this this job. For uh, friends, that uh, they are uh, managers in that in this company, they are uh, they are my friends, and they call me, come in, come in to here. So, uh, for me, that was easy to 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 get this this job right now. Okay, all right, that's good. I don't know much about my area, and maybe for my bosses, for my future bosses. Uh, my knowledge is not enough. It's not enough, and maybe can choose other other person that have more experience. But mm -hmm. at the end, I I get the jobs. But I think 
for in, in the moment that I have the interview, I only said, okay, I I I I, I am a uh, student of university, but I don't have experience. And in the in the in that that moment, I I was very nervous for this. Okay, I get I get you. I think that as you say, the people uh, get really nervous because they think that they are not they are not going to get the the job, and this is really important. The job is a really important part of life. And yes. I think that if you get the job and or if you don't get the job, um, your life is going to change. I don't, I don't know how to explain. Uh, but, it depends if the job is for is part of your dream because if you if you apply for a big company or a company that you want to to be, mm -hmm. it's 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 kind it's of a work. big deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you, Wendy. We have to. Okay. Leave. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Any questions or comments about um, the job interview um, conversation? Many crazy things on. on interview job interviews yeah so you know like like i was telling some of you uh for whatever reason if they don't call you um uh, you get the experience of, of of going for a for a job interview especially if you do it in english you get the sensation of of getting more experience more job interview experience which is good all right any questions or comments before we change? It was a really good topic. I really love this this topic, this general topic. The job interviews is it's a really passionate. Yeah, the, thing and, for me, right? And sooner than later, everybody goes to a job interview uh, to get a better job. You know, so yes. so everybody should be considering what to say, what not to say, how to dress, how not to dress, and things like that. Any other questions, comments? No? Okay, so our next activity is related with listening and speaking. So when you meet someone for the first time, man or woman, um, mm -hmm. what are the typical questions um, you make to that person? Remember, it's the first time you see the person. What are the usual questions that people make? Uh, what's the, uh, the name? Right. And then where the, the, the person lives. Okay, right. The name, the, where the person lives. What else, people? Or what are, what are the things that he or she likes? Exactly. The things they like to or, do. Okay. The what is his or her profession? Good. Yes. What else do you ask? Do you ask the, the age? What is it, Oscar? <laughs> the weather. <laughs> the weather. Okay. The weather was something. Well, like if it... If, yeah, if it's an icebreaker, you can talk about the weather and then you jump to other topics. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, anything else? Anybody else? Something you want to add? The age, um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's not appropriate to, to us. Right. First time. Right. Good. Uh, the age, maybe when, when we... Uh, uh, when we are in, uh, no, when we are friends, for example. But right. the first time, I, I think it's not a good idea. Okay. How do you say Estado Civil in English? Anybody? Marital status. Marital status. Uh, 
marital status. status. Okay, so let me let me show you. Okay. Okay, my screen is blank. Give me a second. Give me a second. Now, where, where is this thing? My goodness, I had the, I had it over here. This is not the topic that I was going to. Okay, anyways, I lost it. I had it here, but I lost it. I don't know what I did with no it. No problem. Okay, anyways. I had we'll, the same problem too. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I'm under the same category and, and it's not there anymore. Yes. Anyways. All right, so technology. All right, good. So let's go to our next activity. Um, do you guys remember uh, the second conditional? Maybe you don't remember the name. Uh, How would you? If? No. Uh huh. If what? How do you say? If you are. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. How would you say, si usted durmiera más? How would you say that in English? If you're sleeping more. More. Okay. Let me explain the following. We have four conditionals. Zero conditional, first, second, and third. Um, the first conditional is the one that you use, well, if you sleep more, you will feel better. If you go to mm -hmm. the gym, uh, your body will change. So the first conditional makes reference to activities that you do now with a result in the future. The second conditional is the one where we talk about things that are not happening at the time you're speaking. So if I say, si usted durmiera más, is this person sleeping enough? No. 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 Si usted durmiera más. What is the past tense of dream? If you, if you slept, uh, oh no. Okay. If you slept more. More. If you slept more. Se if sentiría you mejor. The, if you dream the good feel more. better. <laughs> okay, so if you slept more, you will feel better. Mm -hmm. How do you say si usted fuera al gimnasio? If you if you uh, if you went to the if gym. you went to the gym, exactly. When you're using the second conditional, uh, people call it also unreal conditional. You're talking about actions that are not true at the time you're speaking. So you go to the doctors and the doctor tells you, si usted comiera vegetales, how will you say that in English? If you, if ate, you ate vegetables. If you ate vegetables. So since you're using the second conditional, the if clause is always in the simple past tense. How do you say, si yo no pasara el examen? That's a negative. If I didn't pass. If I examen. didn't pass. How do you say, si yo no te conociera? If I didn't meet you. If I didn't know you. If I, I know didn't you. know you. So once again, the information can be positive, it can be negative. You always must use the structure of the simple past. Si yo me bañara a las cinco de la mañana, how will you say that in English? If I took a shower. shower. If I took a shower at 5 a.m., me daría frío, I would be cold. So anyways, um, any questions about the second conditional? 
si yo viviera lejos, si yo tomara vitaminas, si yo comiera vegetales, si yo no te conociera, si yo no tuviera carro. All those second conditional examples, you're talking about something that is not true when you're speaking. Uh, positive, negative, you have to use the, the structure of the simple past. Any questions or comments? I guess not. Okay, give me a second. Uh -huh. <coughs> second conditional right here. It's raining. It's raining? Uh huh. Really? Okay, it's raining in there. Okay. All right, can you see the, uh, the document? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah. So take a screenshot or I'm sending it to your WhatsApp chat for you to apply these answers by using the second conditional. Let me see this here. Ha ha ha. A room. An alt room. So move to room four. Move to room four. All right, here we go. Hello. Can you see my screen? Hello. Hello. Can, can you see the screen? No. Are yes, you? I can, see. I can see right now. Okay, good. Okay. The third one is a uh, be together. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yes, and I, I, I agree with you. Yes. And number three, what would yes. you say if you met an alien from another planet? <laughs> okay, I will. Mm, mm, the first thing is to know if, if we, if I would be able to communicate with them. Yeah, rent, uh, have uh, uh, small houses. Ah, uh, nice. The very, the very comfortable and uh, spaces to to rest and to enjoy with your family. Yes. And, uh, and the the price is, is a is a reason a reasonable. Mm. Yeah, me, me too. The same. If I call, if I could travel anywhere, 
I will try to to visit so many places here in Salvador because we have a lot of places that we that was very beautiful. And in my case, from the holidays, I always visit my my family, my grandmother, uh, my cousins. So, uh, yeah, uh, if I don't travel anymore, I'm 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 visiting my family here in El Salvador. Yes, I I have a family inside the 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 country. Uh, okay. What part, Norman? In the La Majada. La Majada. Where's La Majada? Yeah, La where's La Majada? Majada. Uh, near to Huayua in oh. the um, Laurel's route. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. And it's, I like it. So imagine that the weather is, is really fresh in La Majada? Yes, teacher. It's very fresh. Uh huh. No more, no more than a paneca, or, but it's, 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 it's a little less. Okay, but it's paneca. nice weather. Yes, it's, nice. it's better than the Santa Ana in San Salvador. Okay, mm. and, and are you from La Majada? Were you born in La Majada? No, teacher. Uh, my family, my grandpas, and my mom. Okay. All right, La Majada. Yes. Yeah. I had heard that name before, but I didn't have an idea it had of, a good of the location. It has good what? A good coffee. Oh, I imagine. There is a, a the, the name, the commercial name or brand is a, a Mahala Oro Coffee. Oh, I, I've seen it. I've seen it. In, in, the, in the Mahala, it start the... the the fabric where or benefits the factory, uh -huh. the factory, the factory where it prepare that coffee. Okay, all right, yeah. good. Yeah, I've seen that coffee before. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, yeah, good, nice. Okay. Ah, because I let me try. A pet dinosaur, a pet dinosaur. Other is ours. I don't, a bit weird question if I have a, a yeah. pet dinosaur. <laughs> I think Not I really. couldn't be happy because they they are too big. They eat a lot. <laughs> uh huh. I in my case, I, if I had a pet dinosaur, I wouldn't be happy. I don't like them. Oh, I don't like too. <laughs> All right. You guys finished with the questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you could change something about your personality, what would you change? Uh, uh, let me see. Like in my case, Man. if I could change something, um, I don't like to wait. You know, I like people to be responsible, but I need to accept that we're in El Salvador. So people, they say 2 p.m. and they show up at 3 or 2.30, you know, so they make you wait. So <clears throat> maybe that. I just wait 15 minutes. <laughs> right. <And then> I go. <laughs> or, or, or you so, call them, uh, like if you're in Lourdes, where are you? Oh, I'm here near El Poliedro. And maybe they're uh, like you. They're in, in Santa Tecla. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So maybe so I will be... You will be more patient. Yeah, I, oh, I will. Yes. I will change my patience. 
occupation. Yeah. If I have had the chance, I will change. Um. Um. Uh, my. The anxious. Uh, the anxiety. 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 I will yes. uh, change anxiety. Okay. I will be somehow more patient. Also, I have more patient. Right. But in right. general, in general. Yeah. Because okay. I want, I want everything fast. Don't fast. I I want everything done fast and 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 done well. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So I would like to be more uh, patient and also. Comp comprehensive is. Uh, comprehensive. Is like a, Understanding, mm -hmm. comprehensive. Understanding. Isn't it comprehensive like a very extended explanation? Or comprehensive um, is comprehensive? Uh, you could apply it. If you're talking about one particular situation, like if someone hits your car by accident and then you're very calm, the other person says, hey, thank you for being comprehensive in this situation. So you can say it. Okay, being patient and comprehensive. Right. And comprehensive. Okay, what about you, about Jose? You, Jose? Mm -hmm. Well, in my case, I, I would like to have a, a great sense of humor, and I would like to have more detail, because okay. I, I think and sometimes I'm, I'm really simple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. All right. Yeah, Very so sometimes you need to put details uh, in life. Yes. Uh, all right. So let's go back to the main session. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Welcome back. So, si usted tuviera la oportunidad, how do you say that in English? If you had the opportunity. Okay. If you had the opportunity to meet someone famous, who would be this person? Uh, maybe Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho? Yeah, Ronaldinho Gaucho. Okay. Football. Football. A soccer football a, Un football a in the Rio de Janeiro, Copacabana Beach. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, someone else, who would you meet if you had the chance? A famous actor, a famous actress. It doesn't matter if he's there. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, I would, like, I would love to meet my favorite writer, who is Julio Cortázar. Uh-huh, all right, good. Someone else wants to share who will you meet? An athlete, actor, politician, famous person, a religious person. In my case, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, yes. I, I think Michael Jordan has been the best basketball player of all times. Yes. Uh, there are others that were very similar to him, but I think he, he's been the best. Yeah, sure. All I, right. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so anyways, um, any questions or comments before you are dismissed? No. Okay, so remember, tomorrow is our last class. Uh, try to be present. Remember, make sure that you finish the platform so you don't miss your opportunity of being part of the next group. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you, everybody. Thank, See you, Thank later. you. Bye bye. 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 Take care. See ya.